Hi, I'm Anthony at JJ Cookson. I'm going to show you around this 2008 Allure and what main features come along with it. So first thing we've got, the alloy wheels with the chrome finish which comes underneath the windows around the top of the rear one as you can see. They also have the rear sitting windows as well which is very nice. We come around the back, as you can see across the bumper you have your rear parking sensors which are very useful. Show you the boot size quickly. So as you can see it is a good boot size. And you do also have this flat bottom here which makes it very easy for you to get things in and out of your boot, which is a good feature. To show you the interior design. Come around the front, as you can see at the bottom you've got your fog lights with the chrome finish around them, which are very useful. I'm going to show you what features come on the inside now. So the first thing you can see on the touch screen here is you've got your digital radio, which is good because it means you can listen to a wider range of radio stations. It does also come with Bluetooth, so if you wanted to listen to your own music, you do also have that option as well. If you press menu, you can get your radio up by just pressing the top left button. It does say navigation here, but it doesn't come with the car. To get navigation working, you need to use Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, which is very easy to do. You just need to use this USB slot down here. You plug your phone cable into it, and you plug your cable into your phone, which will then tether the main applications off your phone onto this screen here. So, for example, Google Maps which is what you can use as a sat nav, your phone book, so you can easily make phone calls while you're driving, and also whatever music app you use, for example, Spotify. And you come down, as you can see, you've got your climate control, so you can change the temperature of the driver's side, you can also change the temperature of the passenger side as well. This button here is where you want the air to be blowing, and these two need fan power, so you turn it down by pressing that one, and turn it up by pressing the opposite. Just going to see, there's your aircon. So look down here, you've got two uh, drink holders and then some extra space for your phone and any other items. You've got your USB slot as we mentioned, which also means you can charge your phone while you're driving, which is very good. And on the left you do have a socket charging socket as well. Look down, you've got grip control as well. So you use this setting if you're driving on tarmac. If you're driving on snow you'd use this one. If you're on mud, if you're on sand, or you can turn it off as well. Thank you for watching, if you need any further information give us a call or drop us an email.